to my vegan kitchen. It's Karen again. Um, to show you something real quick, not that it's really interesting, but there you go. Um, Christmas cooking today, but as you can see, ta -da, I've actually broken my metatarsal notch. This should have been done last week. I didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm trying out a new, I'm doing three things. I'm trying out a new roll, a new um, vegan loaf for Christmas because the one I found was a bit dry. This one has pearl barley. So what I've had to do here is put the pearl barley into here, which is kind of gray for any color. Um, and I've just added the stock that we've made earlier, which is now gone. I need to make some more. It's very popular with that. This has to come to the boil for 10 minutes, which it is doing. Then that'll simmer for about 50 minutes until it's soft. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just um, peel some sweet and some parsnip because my family don't just all like parsnip. I'm mixing it to make it better. I'll go in the oven later. But even so, I think it's better than, than um, peeling them. So I'm just going to stick those in the um, steamer and once they're soft, I'm just going to mash them. Right, it's just two um, steps now. One is just to mash, I'm going to hand mash literally the swede and the parsnip. If this doesn't become smooth enough, I'll throw it in the Vitamix, but I think that'll be probably fine for a while. I don't think you need it. Oh, it's going to be fine, this is. It's lovely, so. Mix that, and then the other thing I've got to do is. Hmm. Okay, I was supposed to reserve four tablespoons of stock, which is actually used it all up. So, what I'll do, I can add a little bit more water on because you can still see some of the stock on the top. So, I'll need enough water to just give us four tablespoons of that. Um, and then we kind of put it all together. And then, of course, we add in herbs like rosemary and parsley. Um, and then got out the nuts and various other things. So I'll show you the different stages as I do it. The next thing, of course, will be just to do the onions and garlic and just to sweat those in butter. Uh, in the shade, in vegan block, not, not butter. Well, it is butter, it's shade butter, of course it is. But as you know, I cook everything with that. That is my secret ingredient for absolutely everything. It's tasting brilliant. So I'll be doing the onions and garlic in that. Now I'm cheating a bit. Rather than having to get my linseed out of the cupboard and stick it in the grinder and grind two tablespoons, I've got this one, which I quite like. I don't have, unfortunately, it's have a little bit of maize starch in it, but it's ground linseeds, but it's also got almonds and Brazil nuts and walnuts in it. And it's 69% linseeds. So the recipe calls for two tablespoons. So, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, because 69% and not 100%, I'm going to put two and a half tablespoons in. And I think what's nice about that is it also has the flavours of the other nuts as well. So all I have to do now with this is put four tablespoons of the stock from the barley into here and then just let it go all gooey. Okay, here is the pearl barley now. It's kind of more creamy colour than it was when it went in. Um, it's been cooking for 50 minutes and it should be quite chewy now. Cooked but chewy. So this now goes into the look, roll as well. Oh no. <laughs> what I'm doing, um, because I had to buy some rosemary, there was too much. So rather than waste it, I'm just going to stick in the dehydrator. So I've got some frozen, not frozen, dehydrated rosemary. I can just break down and, and use another cooking. Oh, there we go. I quickly just show you this. This is the mushrooms. Um, it was chestnuts and shiitake mushrooms. I've got fresh sage in here and fresh rosemary in here. And it's all cooked. It's all kind of dried now. That's going to cool down a minute. Then that's going to go into the mixture over there, which of course was the root vegetables and the barley. And to that, we'll add that. And then of course the glue, which was the linseed and the stock. Then there's just some fresh um, pasta to put in and some roasted chopped um, hazelnuts. Everything goes together and then you'll go in the oven to bake. I cheated with the um, hazelnuts 
chopped roasted hazelnuts bought already in a bag. I needed 100 grams, that's all it was. Um, pumpkin seeds, chopped fresh parsley, mushrooms, and everything else. Now I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to put some salt. You need salt in it, definitely. So I'll just add some salt and then I'll show you once it's in the ring before I actually bake it. So it should be really, really yummy and nutritious and tasty. Got some lovely flavours in there. Okay, here we go. Okay. And there you have it. One um, savoury loaf. I think this would look nice if you can get, um, I don't know if you can get like cranberries on, on stems or whatever, but served with cranberries on stems on the top and that turns out that would look really nice. Fabulous because it's soluble fibre, which is really good for you. Um, and of course, onions, the plants we've got onions and mushrooms and all the other things do for you. So, it's just done the Christmas loaf. I'm going to try and see if I enjoy it more than the other one. So, I'm going to pop this in the oven now, cover it with um, tin foil, and just bake it um, for about 50 to 60 minutes in my oven because it's a very small oven. If it's a bigger oven, you wouldn't need to take as long. Like I say, I can do the, I'll do the recipe for you. So, if you want to have a go of it, then um, and please do, it looks really good. Very vegan and very yummy.